Hey everybody and welcome to this video. So today I'm going to go through everything about the deep learning specialization and the certificate and what happens after you complete it, why to take it and if you should or if you shouldn't complete this certificate and everything you need to know and essentially what it is. So I'll go through everything in this video and also just some important things to keep in mind like if you're deciding to get it which I'll tell you about in the end of this video. So make sure you stick around if you're considering getting this certificate so you don't make any mistakes and like waste all your time and energy and even money if you do it the wrong way. So Let's just get right into this video. So as you can see right here, what it basically is, it's a certificate about deep learning. Um, it's available for both from deeplearning.ai and it's available on Coursera. Now I'm just really gonna explain what it is really quickly and then we'll get into the more interesting detailed stuff. So it's basically a certificate that um, according to them, as you can see, will take around five months to complete at a suggested pace of eight hours per week. Now you can actually complete this way faster if you do so, but it of course depends on your um, prior skills as well, as well as how much time you're able to spend doing so. Um, it requires an intermediate understanding of Python, some basic programming, uh, for example, some for loops, if else statements, uh, data structures, just some basic um, basic things, and but also a basic grasp of linear algebra and machine learning. So you do need some math to be able to start doing so and, and sort of understand the basics of machine learning. Um, there are different specializations that you can take before you start this one, which we'll also talk about soon, but I just want to show you what it is. So it's going to give you a few different skills. It's going to essentially um, focus on artificial neural, net neural networks, um, a little bit about neural, net neural networks in different ways, and how essentially you can apply it uh, to deep learning. And um, I'm just going to show you what it actually is rather than uh, uh, tell you. So neural networks and deep learning is the first course. Um, and as you can see, the second course is improving deep neural networks, hyperparameter uh, tuning, re regular regularization and optimization, those are hard word to pronounce by the way, uh, structuring machine learning projects and convolutional neural networks. And in the last course, it's going to be about sequence modules. And what I'd really like about the structure is that it essentially sets you up, it sort of introduces you to the concept at the beginning, and then it adds um, on top of each other and gives you more and more information, and then tries to sort of put it together um, in a better way, uh, rather than just having individual courses, which I definitely think is an advantage. Now, if you're interested in this one, it's available on Coursera. I will leave a link in the description, but um, just before you get into it, essentially there's some important things that you need to keep, keep in mind before you get started with this one. So who is it actually offered by, or like, why does this actually exist? Well, it's offered by Andrew Yang, and um, he is one of the uh, founders of Coursera and also of Deep Learning AI and a few other people. And uh, what it basically is, is that it's an educational technology company that develops global community of AI talent. And they have lots of courses, um, both on Coursera, but mostly focusing on deep learning and AI. As you can see on their own website, they have some courses, both for introductory, intermediate and advanced stuff. Uh, this is the one we were talking about. It's classified as an intermediate course. So if you do, if you're a complete beginner, it might be better to start off with something like this because these ones will require a little bit of experience uh, with some of these topics. For example, as I said up here, you will need some math before you get started with this one. But you should be fine if you have a little bit of um, prior experience and you meet the requirements. Um, let's see. So yeah, um, the most sort of the most important thing about this is that you will get courses step by step. It's a specialization, which is pretty similar to a professional certificate, like the Google Data Analytics one, for example. What it basically means is that you'll get um, a variety of different courses bundled together to give you a bigger sort of um, a bigger fulfill a bigger ob objective or goal and give you much more knowledge because they can sort of build it together with multiple courses. It's sort of similar to a more uh, degree style rather than taking like individual courses. It's sort of put together in a nice format. Um, they also include hands-on projects, which are uh, in this one. Um, now, I'm not going to be able to tell you exactly what these are, but you will see them when, once you go through. And I, I do believe that Coursera has a lot of really good ones uh, when it comes to hands-on projects, that they have a lot of these ones. And what, what that basically means is that instead of just um, completing like a course like here, you'll be able to actually take this knowledge and implement it with practice projects. And I think that this is... I think that this is really key to seeing success in whatever you're going to do on Coursera, especially when it's a topic like the deep learning, which may definitely um, be, or which might definitely help you um, 
learn uh, if you uh, are able to apply it in some some aspects because it will be challenging especially if you don't have the uh, uh, this kind of experience and um, but again it of it of course depends on who you are um, as you can see it's not their advanced ones they do have some advanced as well so it really depends on who you are uh, whether you should get started with this or not but I'm just gonna get into a few of the uh, the pros and cons about this one so the first thing is essentially the price and that is a pro so I'm just gonna list this right here let me just list out the pros and the first one is the price the price is really really good and uh, I believe it's 39 bucks a month it depends on what you're doing they have a subscription uh, as you can see uh, let me show you this okay it's not available here but basically what they have is you just subscribe on Coursera and you'll get full access to everything and you can also get credits towards to a Bachelor of Applied Science like basically it's a very recognized um, institution and that's really a benefit as well so first of all the price is fair um, they also have a, a um, reputable reputable place both place uh, Coursera and also deep learning AI it's very rep reputable in the space um, and also the thing that you can actually get this for free because they have something called financial aid which I'll show you here um, now I'm not gonna go into detail about this but what you do is you just fill this out and you'll get um, very you're very likely to uh, get financial aid if you do meet the requirements which means that you'll be able to get this course for free if you cannot um, for this right now or you don't wish to pay for it but I do think it's very good to pay for it if you're able to do so because it sort of makes you um, more likely to complete the course there is some kind of psychological um, benefits to that yeah now there are of course some cons as well so we also I'm just gonna add the fact that it's actually very practical practical plus theory so it's both theory and also practical which I really think is a good thing and also it's much more updated um, than a university course because it's actually from the people that are doing this right now in the field it's not from like some kind of university it's actually from people that are doing this as you can see uh, they just focus on this a university is usually very slow and it means that they have to like uh, like fill out a form they have to go they have to change their courses they have to follow like specific curriculum these guys don't have to which means that it's much more updated and i think that's definitely a pro the um the cons though is that the, it is of course a uh, it's not it's not a university course and it's also not necessarily a job so it's it's like a mix between theory and practical and um I think definitely a thing is that it's sort of intermediate so um, the level might not fit everybody it, because if you're very advanced it's not gonna fit you and if you're very uh, like pure beginner it might not fit you either um, but I think it's a really good thing and also I, I, to be honest I just think this is a very good one so it's also just the fact that it has so many reviews like check this out 128,000 ratings 4.9 so very very good reviews like this is actually really high um, especially for something advanced like deep learning specialization a lot of people have taken this one but um, again and also it might be a little bit lengthy for some people um, the length might like for some people it might be a little bit too short and for some people it might be a little bit too long because um, there are a couple of different courses so um, it's very beneficial if you're able to complete them all but all in all I think it's actually a great one so I'm just gonna write my conclusion here I think it's actually a really really good one really really good and um, I would definitely recommend that you get this one if you are uh, interested in the field you're looking to essentially master the fundamentals of deep learning and break into AI and as you can see it's recently updated with cutting-edge techniques so it's much more updated than a university course it's affordable you can just get started right now so essentially that's it for this video. I hope you learned something useful or I hope that you're able to now go and do this or go and do whatever you want. I have lots of other videos about topics like this. So if you're interested, check them out and make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I leave all the links in the description for this certificate and for some other resources. So I'll see you in the next video.